Hi guys, welcome to today's video. So today I am doing an unboxing of this uh, Hemlock and Oak planner. It's the undated book bound planner. Uh, it's actually my cousin's and she so kindly loaned it to me to do an unboxing. And I'm just gonna show you guys what it is. So it comes in this very nice white box that was very difficult to open. And here, and here is what the cover looks like so it says hello beautiful mind let's see it says hello beautiful mind your hemlock and or oak order has arrived so in the box we have this card that says the mighty oak was once an acorn and that stood its ground that's so cute and then on the in back it just has some more information about people and uh forced labor it looks like so then this is just some tissue paper to protect your order and then it, we have here some stickers so i'm going to just open this up and show you what's in here so these are the square bullets in their light earth color. Then some monthly tabs that look like they have a bit of foiling on them. Then some productivity stickers in light earth as well. So you have reminder, appointment, self-care, priority, exercise, clean due date, as well as some smaller appointment note and do stickers then there's also is there one more that's so that's that for the stickers and now we have a little thank you card for welcoming her to the hemlock and oak community as well as oh there's her name and some more information about the planner so now we will get to the goods they even include a ruler showing you the monthly tabs, the order in which to put them. So then let's move this box out of the way. And here is the planner. So it comes beautifully wrapped in this paper. So we're just going to peel this up here and unwrap this baby. Let's see. Wow, it's wrapped in quite a few layers, so it's very protected. Yeah, as you can see here, it comes in a paper layer and a plastic layer to best protect it. And here is the planner. Okay, so I did just go grab that parchment paper that it was wrapped in just so you guys could see better since it is the matte black color and it does have the embossed and gold foiled hemlock and oak on the cover there comes with this little sleeve with some more information about the planner so this is called their undated signature planner it is a 12 month undated weekly planner and she has like i said the matte black color so this is a canadian company it's designed and based out of vancouver bc and it is completely uh, manufactured here as well. So if you are Canadian and you're watching this and you're interested, you can definitely check them out. I'll have their website linked down in the description, okay? So here we go, it opens up to some black pages and then it comes with the general, this planner belongs to, and if found, please contact page. Uh, there's a quote. The mighty oak was once an acorn that stood its ground. So that seems like their kind of tagline and signature quote. And then it comes with an index. So it gives you how to guide, which is just like their information about how to use the planner, self-reflection, introspective, personal values, mindset reframing, goal, goal creation, attainable habits, my ideal day, important year at a glance, all of your different months, then a year on reflection, looking ahead, weekly spreads, and some notes. So here we have another quote, taking care of yourself doesn't mean me first, it means me too. And that's from L.R. Nost. 
and then they have a how-to guide so it's just some general information about how to use the planner as well as their different uh, goal setting type of information they also have here different icons so they have a self-care icon a grid system they say their layout is very clean and minimal as well as uh, their website is linked here to see the planner in action so here is the self-reflection this I don't know if you can see that is a grid paper and then they have these four questions so their questions they have posed here are take some time to reflect on the key memories of your life what moments make you feel content? Think of experiences, feelings, places, events, people, and things. What moments in your life make you feel proud? What moments in your life have you felt f fulfilled or satisfied? What moments in your life were filled with positive progress or change? Then there's the introspection. So close your eyes. What does your ideal life look like to you? Imagine every detail that belongs to you that brings you happiness, pride, and fulfillment. What do you see, smell, hear, touch, and taste in your ideal life? Then here they have, what character traits does your ideal self have? If you were listening to a conversation about yourself, what would you want to hear about your ideal self? Then they have, based on the answers above, highlight the values that resonate for you. So you can also have um, the unlisted values so if there's something about yourself that you want to achieve and what your ideal life looks like or traits and they don't necessarily fit with one of these you can write them on a separate piece of paper and keep it handy uh, in my opinion I would write it on a sticky note and put it here as well so that I could see it alongside all of the highlighted ones then personal values write 10 or 15 10 to 15 of your most important core values, rank them in order of importance. Create a paragraph that embodies your most important values. Use a pencil so you can modify it. It takes time to think this over, so set a reminder to come back when you need to. So this is all dot grid, and then they have mindset reframing, which they have these small boxes for that. So you have to put a negative thought in this one and then reframe it to be a more positive reflection. Then we have goal creation. So there are two pages for that. No, there are four pages. So you can work on four goals and each goal it has the what the goal is, what value does this goal support, why do you want this goal, how will you get there and break down your goal into four milestones. What habits will you achieve? Will you need to achieve these milestones? And then a timeline or review date. So that's enough for four goals. Then here they have attainable habits. So create habits that are attainable to you for a regular basis and avoid difficult habit habits. And make sure your cue is pre existing or realistic. So an example they have here is five minutes of meditation after I brush my teeth in the morning. So there's enough for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 habits. And then each habit, you have the name of the habit, the cue. So like their example was, it would be five minutes of meditation after brushing your teeth in the morning. Why is the habit important? And then what are the specifics of the habit? Then they have the ideal day in an hourly layout. So the hours go from... 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. and they're in half hour blocks so then it looks like they give you enough space here to do it for for your uh, weekday and weekend or if you want to do a couple of different days you could surely break this into four columns if you'd like as well then this one is any important information you can put here and then they also um Note here that if you're writing down like passwords or anything like that, don't write down the whole thing. Instead, place hints for security, which is a very good idea. Then they have their year at a glance. I really like the way this year at a glance is done. So what they have here is they have the monthly calendar where you would write in what the month is and then write in the days of the week for that. And then here they have a grid spacing for 
you to write down what your actual plans are. I like this better because it does give a little more space. It's similar to uh, if anybody is in the bullet journaling community and they've seen the area of the glances where they have the month at the top and then a column, uh, a blank column underneath to write down their plans. It's similar in that way. And then of course it gives you enough for 12 months. Then they have the monthly pages, I believe this is. Yes, so this is kind of like your month at a glance. So here you have the space to write what the month is, what you can do to get closer to your goals this month, what milestones are you focusing on, what personal values will you focus on, three small positive ways you can carve out time for self-care, and then one habit that you want to work on and track for 30 days. So it has these small boxes here to mark out day one all the way down to day 30. And then they have just this blank space here to plan so that you can just write down anything. It could be used as like a brain dump, take notes, anything like that you could put in the space. Then this is their weekly layout. So here you have what would be like a sidebar or no, this is your monthly layout, my bad. So this is your monthly layout. So you write the month of, you have enough boxes to put, I believe it's one day in each, depending on if you have stackables. And it is a Monday start, which I do appreciate. Um, I like having my weekends together and um, it's just the way my brain has begun to think since joining the planning community because a lot of planners do have a weekly start of a Monday, which I'm sure this one does as well. So then you have your sidebar, you have enough spaces to put in whatever uh, amount of days there are, and there's a decent amount of space in each box to plan. I don't have my ruler with me right now, or else I would tell you what the size of it is, though it does look to be a little bit taller than like Plum Paper or Erin Condren if you've seen those planners. And then they also have a self-care challenge at the bottom here and it does go all the way along here. Oh yeah, so this is the monthly calendar. It says so at the bottom of the page here. Then they have enough for each month. So all of your months are together. So if you're someone who likes your weeks and your days together, um, or your months and your weekly pages together, that's not the planner for you. But they do have all of your months, so we're just gonna skip through here. And then they give you your year and reflection. So here is create a list of five to 10 memories you felt fulfilled, excited, challenged, or satisfied. Review your value statement. Are there any modifications? So that's your value statement you made at the beginning of the planner. Have your values changed? Have you grown? Um, if not, how have you grown in the last 12 months? Then list five people or things that you're especially grateful for in the last 12 months. Then looking ahead. So this is like future goal planning. One action you could take to in the next 12 months that'll help you fulfill. How can you show love towards your friends, family, or partner in the future? If there was one thing you could make happen in the next 12 months, what would it be? Um, and how could you pursue it in a healthy, reasonable way? Then here they have 10 things you want to make happen by the next, by this time next year. And then they're just blank boxes. You could kind of see that there. And then these are your weekly pages. So it is an hourly layout and they have a box to write the week of. So you could write the week of whatever dates. Here you have space to write your dates if you want to or like one thing that you want to do each morning. So some people would write like their walk in there or the weather, things like that. Your values can be listed here and then your tasks. And then the way it works is this space goes from 6 a.m. to 11. Um, and then there is... So this is their little icon here that they were had in the beginning for self-care in the 11 o'clock spot. And then it does have a very big chunk of blank space underneath. So you could write evening activities or really anything that you may want to write that's kind of miscellaneous, nothing that fits into the hours, random to-dos, things like that. And then this is where all of your weekly pages are.
and then it does come with two bookmarks so you can put one in the month and one in the week that you're in they have some notes pages at the back here so they give you one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11 notes pages and then it ends off with a quote from Robert Frost the dust of snow from a hemlock tree has given my heart a change of mood and saved some part of a day I had rude so what I'm going to do now is I am going to use one of these back notes pages to do a little bit of a pen test so these are the pens that I have. I have a Sharpie Ultra Fine. I have my Papermate Flair, which is my go-to pen. I have my Pentel Sign Brush Pen, a Mild Liner, a Crayola Super Tip, and then just a ballpoint pen here. I know a lot of people are um, gel pen users, but I'm not, so I don't actually have any on hand. And I'm just gonna use this back page here. So I'm just going to quickly do that for you and speed through. Okay, and that's that. So everything does show up pretty well it doesn't look like there is any smudging after a few minutes and there is some shadowing so you can see here that everything shadowed pretty badly except for maybe the paper mate or the uh, mild liner since it is a lighter color um, there is ridging from the ballpoint, so gel pens would ridge here as well. The Sharpie, I'm really impressed with this paper. So the Sharpie didn't actually bleed through except for where my writing kind of stopped. So at the join of like the A, at the beginning of the S and H, but it didn't bleed through. So this paper is quite thick. Then the Paper Mate um, doesn't really shadow or bleed too much. So if you are gonna use like a felt tip, you should be okay. The only things is the super tip did shadow quite a bit and the Pentel um, sign brush did as well. So that is this planner. It is quite a heavy duty, duty planner. It's not too thick, but it is uh, a good size. It is a little bit wider than what I would consider an A5 size. Uh, let's see here if it tells you what the size of this is. So it is... 6.52 by 8.5 so it is a little bit bigger i think that's about a b6 there is it's 80 pound paper so that explains the lack of bleeding and then there's 192 pages in the book itself so if you are interested in checking them out you can take a look at the link below and look at their things if you are canadian i would recommend supporting a canadian shop as well um so that is the Hemlock and Oak Undated 12-Month Signature Planner in matte black. So if you are interested in checking them out, make sure you take a look at the link in the description and you can take a look at them there. And you can follow me on Instagram at AJ Plans. It'll be on the screen here as well as in the description, plus all of my discount codes and affiliate links that are down there. You can take a look at that. Um, happy planning. Have a good day, everyone. See ya.